Now, these are operations used uh, for statistical and computational purposes in general. These functions have two versions, as you'll see, method version and NumPy function or functional version. For example, let's just start with the summation function. So as you see here, we have the method type, let's say a.sum. So it performed the operation on a without the need to send it as an argument. While the functional style or the functional version is needs to send a as an argument to the function. The same thing with product. So it gives us the product or the multiplication of all elements by each other. Also we have the functional version A and so on. It returns the largest element in the array while the function argmax returns the index of the largest element or the maximum element. So a dot. So as you see here, the uh, index of 8 in the array is 5. Similarly, the minimum gives us the smallest element. which is 2, and the index of the smallest element can be obtained by argmin. So notice that argmin turned the index at the first occurrence. Uh, although we have other values of 2, but it took and returned the first one. So what if we wanted to know the indexes of all smallest elements in the array? Now, here I will give you this bonus function. It is called argware. So let's call mp Now, argware takes a condition so the condition we say a equals to mp minimum a. Okay, so let's check it. So as we see here, 2 is repeated three times in the locations or in, this, in the indexes 0, 3, and 7. And usually it returns the values in uh, two-dimensional array because it works on matrices. For another reason you can use another condition. Let's try here a different condition. Let's say if a values larger than 4. So now we have the indexes of all elements larger than 4. So we have the index of 7, the index of 8, and the index of 5. Now for statistical purposes we use the mean value. So also it is similar to the sum. Just we give the a and the mean which is average of the values and this is the average of the given array. We have also the standard deviation. So the value of the standard deviation um, of the given sample or the given values. We have the median, but we need to notice something with median. It has only functional version. It doesn't have method version. We cannot say a dot median. We need to say use the alias median and send a as an argument. Sort has two versions like others. However, unlike other functions, each version works differently.
the method version changes the order inside the array permanently. For example, if we say a dot sort. Now notice it didn't return anything because it made the changes to a. So as you see here, a has been sorted. And if we check a again, we have only the sorted version of a. Now the functional version of sort returns an array without affecting the original one. Call a again. So a now it's in the original form. And let's say mp sort a. So now we got the sorted version of a because if we check a, it's still in the original form. So this depends on you. In your calculations, if you want to perform permanent change on A or permanent sort, go with the method style. If you don't want to change the original version of A and you want to make sort in a copy, then go with the functional style or the functional version of sort. Now, all statistical functions or statistical operations we discussed above can be applied to two-dimensional arrays, either by using the method version or the functional version. But also, we have to define the axis because if we perform the any operation, it will be performed in the whole matrix or the whole two-dimensional array. By defining axis, we can perform the operations on rows or columns. For example, let's start with sum. So sum here gave us the summation of all elements of the matrix A. But also we can decide if we want to have the sums of columns or rows. axis equals to zero. So it will give us the sums of each column. If we define axis one, it will return the sums of each row. Now let's try also maximum. So if we say MP, I'm using here the functional version. So it gave us the maximum value in the whole matrix or the whole uh, two-dimensional array, which is nine. Now, if we say so notice here, it gave us the maximum value in each column. or we can use axis one and we get the maximum value in each row. 